Hello everyone. I hope all of you are fine. This is sixth video for the series of frequently asked questions in GRV. These question types are often tested, so don't miss any single video of the series. And if you find these videos helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any single video of the series. So this is a bit tricky question. Just pause the video and try to solve this at your own. I assume that all of you saw this by now. Let's try to solve this now. The conventional way is by zooming the value and try to prove the condition that a plus b plus c plus into a b c is equal to 119. But that is a bit time taking approach. Let's try to form some generic way to solve this question efficiently and quickly. For that we need to see the general rules for even and odds first. First of all, let's see for addition. When we are adding two even integer, the result is always even. For example, two plus two is equal to four. When we are adding two odd integer, the result is always even, just like one plus one is equal to two. When we have one even and one odd, the result is always odd. For example, two plus one is equal to three. Likewise, when we have odd first and one even, the result is also odd. That is one plus two is equal to three. So we can assume by seeing this that we have even when we have two integer of same nature, either both of these are even, either both of these are odd. If they are two separate, one is even, the one, other one is odd, the result is always odd. And same properties hold for subtraction as well. When we are having two even, the result is even. For example, four minus two is equal to two. When we are having two odds, the result is also even, just like three minus one is equal to two. And when we are having one even and one odd, the result is odd. For example, two minus one is equal to one. Likewise, when we have odd first and even afterwards, that is three minus two is equal to one. So when we are having two evens or two odds, the result is even. And in other case, the result is odd. And let's see the multiplication. This is a very simple case that when uh, we are multiplying the integers, when we are having only one even, the result is be even. Just like in this, the product of two even is even, just like two into two is equal to four. The product of even and odd is also even, just like two into one is equal to two. Likewise, odd into even is also even, that is one into two is equal to two. But when you're having all of these as odd, the result is odd integer. For example, one into one is equal to one. So the takeaway from this is that we get only odd when all of the integers in the multiplication are odds, rest in each of the other case, we will get an even integer. But things are a bit complicated in case of division. First of all, when we are dividing even by even, the result could be even integer, the result could be odd integer, or the result could be any fraction which is not an integer. So let's see first scenario when we are getting odd, for example, two over two, the result is 1, which is odd. When we are having 4 over 2, the result is 2, which is even. And when we are having 2 over 4, the result is 1 over 2. There is one takeaway from this, that when we will get the even result, when we are dividing even by even, the result will be even whenever we have a multiple of 4 in the numerator. Only in that scenario, we can get an even integer when we are dividing even by even. Now the other scenario is when we are uh, when we have even in numerator and odd in the denominator, the result must be either even or that must be a fraction which is not integer. For example, two over one, the result is two, and four over six, the result is two over three, which is not an integer value. Now, if we are having both numerator and denominator is odd, the result must be either odd or be a value which is not fraction. For example, 3 over 1 is equal to 3 and 3 over 9 is equal to 1 over 3. And the last scenario is in which we have odd in the numerator and even in denominator. In that scenario, the result is always a value which is not integer, a fraction value. Just like 3 over 6 is equal to 1 over 2. Now let's back to the question. The question was that A, B, C are prime numbers and the condition is that a plus b plus c plus the product of all three must sums to 119. But for this, we should know one thing that the even prime number is only two 
and the rest all are odd prime numbers. This will be very helpful. Now let's use this. We need to see various scenarios and I will try to use a generic way which we discussed so far. What will happen if all of the numbers in above condition are even? For example, uh, if A is even, B is even, C is even, so we can write even plus even plus even plus the product of all evens. The result of the first portion is even and the second portion is even. That's why the final result is even. But this is not possible because in actual condition our answer is 119 which is odd. Now let's see another scenario in which all of these are odd. So odd plus odd plus odd plus the product of all odds. Now we, as we discussed earlier odd plus odd is equal to even and if we are multiplying all of the odd the result is also odd. So we are left with even plus odd plus odd. Now odd plus odd is also even. So even plus even again the result is even. But our, our, our actual answer is odd which is 119. So that's why this is not also, uh, also not possible. Now let's see the third scenario in which we are having one even and just all of the others are odd. For example that is odd plus odd plus even plus odd into odd into even. So that will be equal to uh, at first odd plus odd is equal to even and uh, the product of all including one even the result is even and if we add all of these that we are again getting an even and which is not possible because our result is odd which is 119. Now let's see the last scenario in which we are having one odd and rest all of the others are even. So that will be odd plus even plus even plus odd into even into even is equal to. Now let's see that this product is even this these two evens are also even and we are left with one odd. Now even plus even is equal to even and one odd and as we discussed we can get only odd in scenario in which we are having one even and we are having one odd. So result is odd and yes now this is possible. Now moving further that we know there is only one even prime number which is 2 and thus all of the others are odd prime numbers. Based on our conditions we have two evens and one odd as all of these are prime numbers so only even possible is 2. So we have even, uh, 2 in place of even and for time being let's keep the odd same as O. So this will be odd plus even which is 2 plus even which is 2 plus multiplication of odd into 2 into 2 is equal to 119. So if you proceed further this will be 4 plus O plus 4 O is equal to 119. And that will be 5O plus 4 is equal to 119 and 5O is equal to 115 and lastly the odd prime number will be equal to 23. Now based on this we are find that we have two even prime numbers in this which is 2 and one odd prime number which is 23. Doesn't matter we are assuming uh, the even and odds which of the uh, following A, B, C that doesn't matter because we are multiplying. So it doesn't matter what is the value of A, either A is odd or either B is odd or C is odd because we are multiplying these. So just multiply these A into B into C is equal to 2 into 2 into 23 and that is equal to 92 which is less than 93. That's where the answer to this is option B. This is a very quick way in which you know the generic way you can quickly solve this. Otherwise if you proceed with by assuming the value this will be very time taking approach. And that will take a lot of your time. I hope that you find this video helpful. And in case you have any doubt, just let me know in the comments. And hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.